Hey there, YouTube. It's me again, uh, Red White Knight. Um, today I'm going to talk, talk to you about um, people's personal vanity and how um, uh, how society um, judges people on their looks, and also um, how people's perceptions of that, how how, how they think so that people judge them, um, can affect um, them. Uh, what prompted me to do this video was uh, recently I had a medical condition. Um, called uh, gluteal psoriasis, which is a um, form of psoriasis that um, that comes um, uh, after you had a, a cervicalcus infection, a throat infection in your, in your, in your throat. Um, I'm going to place a link about it in the, um, in the blowjob bar uh, so you can read more about it. I'll talk a little bit more about it, but I don't have that much time um, to, to go into really hardcore detail about it. And um, and I'll, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna talk about how it made me feel and how I thought uh, I didn't want to go in public because I thought people would judge me because of how I looked and also um, my own projection about that. Um, th the other thing I, that I talked about is um, I'm gonna talk to you about a British girl named uh, Katie Piper. Uh, she was a um, television presenter, um, model, um, among other things. Um, uh, in 2008, she um, had acid pour, uh, uh, poured into her face by um, her ex-boyfriend's associate, um, who he had paid to um, to disfigure her. Um, and I'll talk about how she overcame um, her disfiguring accident and um, persevered. Um, how she started her, her own foundation to uh, raise awareness for, for people uh, of, uh, for burn victims. Um, Okay, so I'll start with what happened to me. Um, back in mid-May, I had a throat infection, um, which I found out later, which was a really bad one, uh, a, a cervicalcus one. Anyways, um, what happened was I ended up getting what's called uh, a gutea psoriasis, which is um, it's actually like the least uh, worst form of psoriasis you could ever have. It um, it's only temporary, as opposed to the um, other types um, like plaque psoriasis which are uh, lifelong. Um, I have a cousin who's had, had it, uh, plaxorized his whole life and he's basically a social outcast and um, he um, doesn't have that many friends and you know he's just slowly living with his parents and it's kind of sad because he's, he's older than I am and I'm in, like in my late 20s um, and he's like almost 40 I think now so he's like an actual 40 year old virgin probably. Um, not to make fun of him or anything but um, so what happened to me is um, I woke up one day with some red spots on me. Um, at first they were small; they they looked like little bug bites or something. Uh, so, so that's what I thought. But I went to the doctor and found out it was the psoriasis, former psoriasis. Um, and eventually they grow to between one millimeter to ten millimeters in size. So some of them are pretty, pretty big, pretty noticeable. Um, they mainly appear on your on your um, on your back and on your trunk, uh, which is hence the name. Uh, Agatia psoriasis. Um, the Latin name for that means it, it, it's also a reference to um, uh, the Greek word, or I think the Latin word, I'm not sure, um, meaning a uh, blood drop. Because when they first appear, they look like blood drops. Um, so uh, eventually, it covered my entire body by the um, second month. Uh, it um. It can last from a few weeks to a few months, so uh, right now mine is kind of like uh, in the mid range because it's lasted about two months now. It's starting to go away, but um, at so, at, at one point I was completely covered in red dots from head to, head, head to toe, and I um, didn't want to leave my apartment. I did. I thought because that that's my own vanity, you know. I, cause I thought, and that was. Because I thought people were gonna judge me and make fun of me, and and um, and uh, you know, just make put pressure on me because I was, you know, different. Um, but, but uh, there's many forms of that in society. But um, you can see how I would do that. But that's on my own projection. I found out that, that my friends didn't treat me any differently because I had um, the marks um, on me. Um, it wasn't so bad on my face, but you could see it. It was on my neck too. It's it's gone off my face now. You probably can't see it because the light. I'm 
trying to get a, a, a white light effect because hence the name white knight. Um, so now it's going away. I don't feel so bad anymore. But you know, it's just um, I kind of feel dumb now for um, letting my own vanity get the better of me. You know, I didn't want to go to work. I didn't want to like go hang out with people. I didn't want to go out. You know, to clubs or whatever, or to parties or to concerts. You know, just be having a normal, normal life. So. Um, that was my own projection, you know. I it just it wasn't true, and I you just have to I just want to tell everybody that you know you shouldn't be afraid to go out if something like this happens to you. Um, so check out the um, the link. Um, it'll show you. There's some pictures there, so you can see. Mine wasn't quite as bad as some of the pictures there, um, but it was worse than some of them. Uh, I think the first one is a very mild form. That the further you, the further you go down the pages, kind of worse ones. Um, but I think that's going away. So, um, that's what happened to me anyways. Um, so on to Katie Piper. Um, as I said, she was a model and a television, um, presenter. She, she wanted to be a reporter, have a career in media later on. Um, and she had this boyfriend whose name was, um, just let me check here. Uh, her boyfriend's name was, um... Sorry about that. Um, a Daniel Lynch and his friend was named Stefan Sylvester. Um, on March twenty eighth, sorry, on March in March of two thousand eight, he uh, Stefan uh, um, Daniel Lynch had told um, uh, Sylvester where um, Piper lived, and he proceeded to throw acid in her face, which was caught on CDV. Um, they were later convicted of, um, the crimes and are now in jail. Um, she, her face was massively damaged and the doctors had to remove all the skin off her face. And they, and they uh, used a, a, a new a revolutionary, uh, tr um, operation uh, treatment where they, um, used a skin substitute and then a skin graft. Um, she had to wear, a, like, a, a mask to keep it, um, the, uh, bacteria off while, while this was, she was being treated because she had basically no skin on her face. And, um, eventually it healed, but, um, she, uh, was not the same, uh, as you can quite imagine. But, um, I first heard of her story in, uh, the end of 2009 when, when, when I went home for Christmas, uh, back to Canada. I saw a 2020 special about her. Um, and it was basically, like, I, I followed her, like, from the the, uh, about a month after the attack to a year later, um, through her treatment, the trial of her boy ex-boyfriend and his friend, um, and their conviction, and, um, it touched me a lot, so, uh, one thing I remember is, uh, is when she first went out to go shopping, uh, the first time out in public with her sister, and people were, like, like staring at her and stuff and pointing and saying, like, what was wrong with her, and I could feel, like, her pain, because she was really upset at what happened, so, see what I mean about people judging, you know, people's fear. So I had a fear of that too, of being judged. Of course, not quite as bad as hers, probably. But, and I'm not trying to equate what happened to me with her, because she has been, you know, disfigured. But she rose above that, and she uh, started this foundation for, um, for burn victims, and she's working a lot with that now. So, um, it's very insp ins inspirational, her story. So, I think you guys should check the link, like, uh, uh, that, maybe, maybe watch her, um, documentary called Katie, My Beautiful Face. Um, I'm almost out of time here, so I'm going to, um, probably stop it here now. Just saying, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully, uh, I'll be making more videos soon. Um, kind of busy. This one is just for the moment, so I'll, uh, put the two links, like, down in the, the blowjob bar, as I said. Um, so until next time, um... Just like Paris Hilton, that, that was, was easy. easy. See ya.